Hey guys, let's get started setting up your schedule in Service Monster 6. This is an important step to take before you do things like setting up your routes. So let's go. We're starting in Schedule today. Click on Scheduling in the Navigator. Now there's two ways to view the schedule. There's Map View and there's Week View. Now, Map View is going to be its own training video, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to Week View. This is where we want to be. So once you're in Week View, select the little blue gear icon at the top. This is where you set your business's default so everything will work effectively. The dispatch location is very important. This is where you ask yourself the question, where will all your technicians take off from? If you have one main dispatch location, simply plug that address in here. If you have more than one, we suggest you find a central location. For example, if you know that the city library, even though it has nothing to do with your business, is generally central to all your dispatch locations, type in that address. This allows for accurate and effective job mapping and also helps out the color wheel a lot. I'll explain more of that later. Also here, you set your business's start hours and end hours. So are you eight to five or other? The max driving range is another color wheel topic. If a job is outside your max driving range, it will appear a gray color and you'll know right away that the job is maybe a little bit outside your range. Just as a quick example, if you're in the city and everything's close together, perhaps you only service up to 10 miles. So you'd put 10 or you live elsewhere, out in the county perhaps. Maybe that's up to 50 or even 100 miles. Again, this is up to you. Let's move to the user tab on the left-hand side. Job detail settings. The user tab indicates what you want to show on the schedule. Let me show you what that looks like. Each of these are pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so let me show you. So I'm gonna say what I want to show on the schedule is the job info, maybe the phone number for the job, and the tech that's on the job. We'll just say that. I click Save. Now when I look at my jobs, that's all the information that I'm going to see on them. You can do any assortment of these, so just choose what you want. Time cell height. So this refers to these guys right here. If you want a bigger cell, you can go ahead and change the setting. Got a lot here. What's the first day of your work week? Is it Monday or is it Tuesday? You choose. How many days do you want to show on the schedule? There are many options here. You can choose anything as low as one day all the way up until 10 days. The next tab is the color wheel. Think of the colors on the wheel as directions on a map. The center white spot is your dispatch location. So in this instance, if your technicians are going north, all your jobs are going to appear this greenish color on the schedule. If they're going east, yellow. South, red. West, blue. There's lots of ways to alter this. Let me show you. If you're looking something for pretty basic, I would choose this four here. You see that really simplifies our color wheel. As you can tell, you can choose basically anything in between. Gradient is the most complicated. You also have the option to change what color is north and south, east and west. So if you want to change and make, let's say you want north to be blue, just select blue. Once you create these settings, I would suggest you keep it as such. This allows you, without a bunch of searching around for addresses or whatnot, to know what direction your technicians will be traveling to a job. It also allows you to schedule jobs in the same direction close together so that you cut back on travel costs. And by all means, choose what color wheel options work for you and your business best. Once you're done, click Save. And once those things are set, your schedule should be good to go. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you have any more questions, you can rewatch this video at any time or contact our amazing support team.
For more online training, please visit our website at www.servicemonster.net help. We are here to help you.